Hi, I'm joined here with Olivia Jesse, the president of ASL Club, which of course stands for American Sign Language Club, yeah. and a sophomore here at Emory & Henry. Well, with the club up and running now for at least a couple of weeks, almost near a month? Mm -hmm. Close to, yeah, about three weeks we've been going strong. We missed a meeting last week, but we've, I think we've had six or seven. This weather, yeah, makes sense. How would you gauge the success of it so far? I would say eyes. to be three weeks in fairly successful. We have roughly 28 students um, on the roster. We have regularly about anywhere from 18 to 24 coming in regularly. So I think that's pretty good to be a startup club on campus. That's definitely sure. a good sign. Yeah. yeah. Um, what would you say when you, because you're fairly fluent in sign language, being the president and one of the leaders of the club, mm -hmm. what was your sort of initial reason for getting involved in learning sign language and not only learning it yourself but then teaching it to others right um well i started originally losing my hearing when i was around five years old after a surgery that i had had and then i got hearing aids actually right after high school i had just pretty much laid it down ignored it i started learning high or um, sign language in high school um, got engaged with the deaf community um, started learning about the culture aspect of it and got really into it, but mostly just a hard of hearing student, just trying to gain more fluency, but not sort quite there Sort of a necessity yet. for yes, you there. Yes, eventually, I, I guess so, yes, it will be. Yeah, yeah, and you were mentioning that you've got involved in deaf culture and have deaf friends yourself, yes. if I got that right. What, um, when you're hanging out around this area, because you're from Southwest Virginia, if yes. I have that correct, <laughs> Um, what is the chances you run into someone if you're out with your deaf friend or even by yourself that knows ASL or at least knows the etiquette for interacting with a hard of hearing or deaf person? I would say rare. Um, mm -hmm. Occasionally we will have people, if we are eating in a restaurant though, a waiter or waitress will try to say small phrases, which is really nice and she gets really excited about it. But um, for the most part, it's I probably run into a deaf person around Southwest Virginia maybe once or twice a year. It's not that common around here, but you go into bigger cities and it's definitely more prominent. A frequent thing, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, one question I had for you was when you came to Emory and Henry, were you surprised, well with, you know, Inclusion and Dialogue Center and what mm -hmm. we touted about that, that there wasn't already an ASL club started here? I don't know if I was necessarily surprised. I think deaf culture kind of gets left out of that conversation a lot of yeah. times, um, but the deaf population is growing exponentially in this country, so I think it is something to start kind of integrating onto campuses, and this was kind of my baby last year, and I tried to get it to take off, and now, thanks to Professor Ramju, we finally have the club, so that's really exciting. That's awesome, and you've been mentioning a lot about deaf culture, and I know one of the goals of this is not only to learn and practice sign language, or American Sign Language, but also to learn about deaf culture. What, for people who might not be you know, educated in deaf culture, what exactly does that entail? Yeah, I think just with, with any introduction to a new culture, you have do's and don'ts, particularly when it comes to language and mm -hmm. um, just small things, making eye contact and not talking loudly when you encounter a deaf person, just small, small things that, um, that as they're learning the language, I also want to make sure that when they do encounter somebody who is deaf or hard of hearing and want to use their sign language, that they're not being um, harsh or, in any, or offensive in any way, mm -hmm. you know, on accident. So that's super important to me too. Because I frequently, I struggled with that. It was small do's and don'ts that I would do that my deaf friends would correct me. Catch you on. Yes, yeah. which is helpful. Yeah. So like you're mentioning, making eye contact, yes. not you know being over expressive with mm -hmm. the signs, mm -hmm. just yeah. simple things, Small things and communicating with people mm -hmm. regularly yes. that are important. But just yeah. like a hearing person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, another question I had was, so in the modern society where technology is very prevalent, everyone has a phone, some way to type out a message of some sort, is there still a necessity for ASL with translating apps and or you know, typing out messages and right. reading, in um, your opinion? I think that case could be made for any foreign language. Um, I think, you know, having those interpersonal communications and being able to sit face to face and talk with somebody in their language is still really important, no matter if it is American Sign Language or Spanish or French or, you know, whatever it is. Um, kind of that globalization of knowing English is nice and having that technology to be able to, to translate what you want to say, but also it's nice to encounter somebody that, that knows your language. Definitely. And for encouraging people to get involved in ASL Club, besides just learning sign language, would you say going out of your way to learn sign language aids in other 
skills, because I know a lot of communication, just in general, with hearing or non-hearing, is all body language, like yeah. 70, 80 percent. Do you think learning sign language helps make people more expressive? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think it also improves with a lot of public speaking skills. Being able to sit in front of somebody and be expressive with your face and your body language is also incredibly helpful. So yeah. for your mass comm majors, your business majors, I get a lot of those. Um, we're a great group of people too. We have people from all different walks of life and yeah, those are definitely skills that can be, can be improved there too. Definitely, definitely. Well, I appreciate you meeting me here for the interview. Thanks for having and, me. Um, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we're signing off here with Olivia and tossing it over to Luke for the sports update.